as a kid, I loved being a boy, but I always wondered what it's like to be a girl for just at least one day. Just f if, 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 even if it was just for like a few hours or even a day, I still wanted to know what it was like to be a girl. I will let my hair grow long. I will often ask my parents if they can buy me Barbie dolls or makeup or clip-on like accessory stuff. As I will often ask my mom if she, if she can give me two pigtails. But back then, I called them my two girls. <laughs> because back then, I would always associate women with ponytails. But as I grew up, that's not the case anymore. <laughs> I would really enjoy watching girl shows like the Powerpuff Girls, My Little Pony. Uh, I guess I was into Barbie at the time. I don't know. <laughs> I always get so excited uh, uh, whenever a product from, from a girl show come out in f physical stores like Target or Walmart or Toys R Us. R.I.P. Jeffrey. Fast forward to, I believe, middle school? Specifically in the 8th grade. It was the first time I've ever heard someone mention something involving the LGBT... Something involving the LGBTQ community in Pride Month. Like gay or bisexual or transgender. Or queer. I would always be so confused because I have never heard of the LGBTQ community or even Pride Month. But but uh, but some kids were were okay when uh, enough to tell me what LGBTQ is and with, and how many sexualities or gender identities there are. And I, and I was fascinated by the concept. If, if, if even though my family is Christian, they recognize the LGBTQ community, and they overall support it. I have been told my whole life that I would always be my parents' little man, regardless of what anyone would say. Back then, I was a dumbass and. I felt very happy because my parents loved me. Of course. Of course. Your parents will love you regardless, right? Well, to me, that wasn't the case. Fast forward to high school. as I started getting more familiar with the LGBTQ community by doing lots and lots of research on sexualities like gay or bisexual, lesbian or pansexual, polyamorous. And then I get into the section that is the main topic of this video. Genders. You know how people would always say that there are two genders? Well, there are... Well, in reality, there are a lot more than two. And I mean... A shit ton of genders. I'm talking like under a hundred. Actually, I think that's a bit too much, but, but but you get the point. And that was when I was properly f f familiar with a specific identity. Transgender. In case... If you don't know what transgender is, <laughs> according to Google, transgender is a, a denoting or relating to a person whose sense of personal identity and gender does not co co corresponds with their birth sex. And then, uh, 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 and then, uh, uh, I've done more research about transgender.
I am assigned male at birth. And as a kid, I always enjoy playing with girls' toys and even wearing girly outfits. But I wouldn't like playing with the boys and getting dirty, playing with mud, playing with sports. Because I always associate them with boys. So I didn't really like playing all this, like, boy masculine things. But uh, as I grow up, that suddenly changed. I started liking male stuff too now. <laughs> to the point where I would actually confuse myself on what type of kids toys do I like. Do I like girls' toys? Do I like boy toys? I'm so confused. God, help me out here. <laughs> Going back to high school years. After the research, I've done a lot of thinking. And I have been remembering all the times I had where I was happy that I was watching girl shows and girl toys and girl outfits. It's, it's, and, 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 and now I, and then I started questioning if I'm supposed to be a boy or a girl or not. I still do enjoy male and female stuff, but then I started having this thing called a gender crisis. So sometimes I got to a point where I started having the panic attacks. Because I couldn't figure out what gender I'm supposed to be. When I told my parents that I think I'm transgender, they started looking at me and... <laughs> in a different way. <laughs> they probably thought that I was just going through like a phase or something, but but uh, I kind of stopped them by telling them that I don't think this is a phase. A phase. I don't really know what gender I am anymore. I'm more, and I need help. But, but of course, I, 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 I didn't say and, 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 and that because I was too scared to say something else. So, 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 so then they decided that, that um, they should take me to therapy or to, or to, or to see a, 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 a professional to, to talk to. But, but, I secretly deny the offer because I know that there are cases where people will tell their professionals, will tell some professionals that they don't feel right being their biological sex or gender. And some of the professionals would just... Uh, uh, diagnosed them with, 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 with something that they know they don't have. So, so, so of, of, of course, I didn't go through therapy. But, but there was also another option. If you don't want to seek help or, or maybe... I get the time to. Oh, the second option is that you talk to your friends and probably make your own group therapy session or something. I don't know. Which was something that me and my friendship group did a few times, actually. And so they seem to understand and that they would help me do our research on what identity fits me the most. 
and that's where I ended up, I, I, I ended up being stuck between the following. Trans feminine, gender fluid, and a gender. I'll tell you why there was the, there was a long pause between gender fluid and a gender later on in the video. Anyways, um, I didn't know what a gender was at the time, but I was, but I'm familiar with gender fluid and trans feminine, so I started to identify myself as that. I started to identify myself as a trans feminine gender fluid individual. But of course, the, the dysphoria did not go away for probably a couple of years or something. It, it got to a point where I would constantly have a gender crisis, s switching between many, many non-binary identities. I feel so bad that, 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 that my friendship group had to go through all that with me. So, so then, uh, uh, I've done more research on more non-binary identities, including a gender. And I thought, that sort of fits me too. But most of the time, I don't feel like I'm either a man or a woman. Or even non-binary. <laughs> even though a gender is technically under the non-binary umbrella. That's under the transgender umbrella. And then I have done some more thinking. About what I'm supposed to be. My gender crises will grow intense each time I go through a, a gender crisis. My dysphoria increases and it becomes a daily routine for me until until today as I'm recording this video. For, for, for the most of the time, I've identified as myself. A person who constantly goes through gender crises every single month. It gets more intense every time. It almost got into the point where I was started having yet another panic attack because I still couldn't figure out what I'm supposed to be. What gender am I supposed to be born as? Why is it so hard to, to, for, for me to just find the answer to my problem? It almost got to a point where I started having a mental breakdown on nothing but a fucking mirror because I would keep questioning, what am I supposed to be? Am I supposed to be a boy? Am I supposed to be a girl? A non-binary? Nothing? I swear to God, if no one helps me, I swear to all that is holy in the Christian religion. Stop. Just take a deep breath and go ahead and talk to the people who you really trust. And that was the best decision I've ever made in my life. I started telling my friends everything about uh, all of my gender crises. And they seemed to understand them very well because guess what? They also went through the same exact thing. Plus I think every transgender people went through it this way. Then I started to feel a lot better knowing that I have people who can help me then, in one of my friends' live streams, they mentioned that when, when we first met, they assumed that I was either NB or a gender because I didn't sound like I am either a boy or a girl. I sounded more androgynous, and they didn't hear any gender from me. I know that's just what they think, but. I think that's what I've been trying to see when I keep going through the same gender crises. But I guess I was in, in, in denial. So much in denial that I don't even think of that at all. Then moments after that, I look myself in the mirror and for the first time in a while, I stopped hating myself. I started loving myself. Knowing that I have a lot of people who I can talk to. Knowing that I will get the help I need from those who have experienced the same exact thing as well. 
I started ignoring what my body is and just get it out of my chest and say it. Just when you feel like you know what gender you identify yourself as because of how much research, just announce it. Tell your friends. Tell those who you can trust. Tell the entire globe. Tell everyone. I think those who are in my friend group might know where I'm going with this. But for those who don't, and for those who are outside of my friendship group, I am a gender. I don't identify with any gender, but I'm okay with anyone using any pronouns around me. Oh, what an emotional roller coaster! <laughs> if you made it this far, then I would love to thank you so much for listening. I know I might have been rambling on a few points, but it was just something that I have to get out of my chest. And I thought that this would be a pretty good video for Pride Month, since it's actually going to come up in a few days. Goodness gracious, I can't even count on how many gender crises I've been through anymore. Like, I'm not even shitting you. And you can literally ask my friends right now, and they will tell you that I have been through a lot of gender crises. I know I say that this will be my primarily identity, but little do we all know that I might go through another one in the future. Anyways, thank you so much for listening, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Happy Pride Month, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.